All right, this is it. This is the 10 things I cannot live without. Um, excited to share with you. Number one, what's number one? All right, this is 10 things I can't live without. These things are important, key essentials to my life. I need them. And I'm gonna start off with my first one, a toothbrush. I've seen a lot of these 10 things I can't live without videos, and I haven't seen one person yet talk about the toothbrush. Y'all are super nasty, and y'all need to brush your teeth more. And first of all, who touched my toothbrush? Because I like to leave my battle wounds on my Was that you, Chris, or was that you, Brown Bear? Come on, man, you gotta let people see the battle wounds so that people know that you go to town. Another important quote I heard the other day, was uh, be good to people that have access to your toothbrush. That's an important life lesson. Could you imagine what Brown Bear could have done with them greasy buns to my toothbrush? And why I think toothbrush is so important and why it should be in all of your top 10 list is because uh, a smile and a clean smile and good breath is like the first thing I see. I like, make a you know quick assumption about the person is basically hygiene and uh, that's why a toothbrush is so damn important. And brush your teeth, people, because that's nasty if you don't. We all know we gotta get rid of that morning breath. So, use your damn toothbrush. Next step, a skincare routine, okay? This is important. Fellas, we gotta get on this. Ladies, you keep killing it. I use double serum. You all know that, I talk about it all the time. I love this stuff. Clarins has got me hooked. I always follow it with a moisturizer because uh, I'm trying to stay young and stay pretty, you know. What's so cool about this product here with Clarins is that both men and women can use this product. It's the number one selling serum in the world. They crush it, so if it's those kind of results, you should be using it too. Every day though, I get started. I use my double serum. I start here and I go to my moisturizer. And then at the end of the day, go to my double serum and end it with a moisturizer. It just kind of gives me a beginning and the conclusion to every day and kind of keeps me at peace. I'm a big fan of routine. Uh, my boy Alex Toussaint once said, uh, let discipline carry you and motivation won't. And this is part of my discipline and part of my routine. All right, next bit. Next step, the ocean. I'm here in my house, so I couldn't bring you to the ocean. So I brought the ocean to you. We got some sand and water here from the ocean. If you know me, I love the water. I love being on the water and I love being on the water with my family and friends. And that's the next thing I can't live without. I gotta have my family right there, boom. This is senior day high school, circa 2011, Jupiter High School, uh, mom and pops. Iconic photo I have of them that I will hopefully never lose, cause this is great. But then also my friends, you know, everyone that's been here at the house, the ones kind of keeping me sane lately, you know, and driving me crazy too. They can drive me damn sure crazy, but I love them and wouldn't be where I am today without them. So they are a huge part of my life and super important. So the next thing I can't live without is my Bose headphones. Uh, I love these things. In New York City too, it's so important to have headphones because you'd be walking around and people would be yelling at you. People will be coming up to you. You just plug these things in and you tune everyone out. And why I love these two, and why they're better than your little Apple headphones that I see everyone using, my brother's guilty of it too. He wears them as well. It's because they got the little rubber right here. You can stick them in, you can run forever, you can do whatever. It's perfect. And my, one of my favorite things about it is because I lose everything. It has a little alarm system that I can search and hit because you know, I'd lose my head if it wasn't attached to me. Um, what's next here? If you know me, you know I love me some basketball. That's the main sport I can't live without. I basically grew up playing basketball. That was the first sport, my first love. Um, I thought I was going to become the next Shaquille O'Neal until my father rained on my parade and said, son, you're not gonna be seven foot, 280 pounds. You're gonna be a six foot three, 215 pound quarterback. And that kind of changed my whole life. I specifically remember a point in time when my dad printed out all the top uh, prospects in basketball and all the top prospects in football and said, see son, look at all their heights and look at all your heights. Which one do you think you belong with? And that's when I really made my career switch over to football full time because I was a six foot three center and those don't really exist in anywhere but high school. But my, my shining story from high school and how I did, uh, earned the nickname Bam Bam. My first 30 seconds ever in varsity basketball, my sophomore year, I was pumped up, I was juiced, I was coming off an injury, so I missed the first two weeks of the season. They finally put me in the game in the second quarter. We're playing Palm Beach Lakes. It's 
an intense game. I think we were number four in the county, they were number five. So like it was a it was a big deal, a big game. First 30 seconds, I go in, all of a sudden one of my teammates throws a bad pass, tip ball. Their guy's on a fast break going up for a dunk, and I come in going for the block. And I'm just like super stoked, super excited to be in the game. I hit him and he goes flying. I was going for the ball, and as soon as I turned around, their best player came out swinging. And next thing I know, there's a bench clearing brawl. And my first 30 seconds of varsity basketball ended up in a six week suspension. And uh, you can see that right here. But I love basketball, dream of being, you know, LeBron James all the time. Uh, when I'm on the court nowadays, I still think I'm LeBron James. I get the ball, rebound it, dribble down court, then I turn it over, which is unlike LeBron James. So that's why I'm here and he's there. We're always playing basketball, whether it's, you know, in the gym playing pickup. I put a hoop out here in front of my house because we got to get our games in, we got to get our sweat on. It just clears your mind. It also detaches you from all social media, all phone stuff. That's why I love it. When it comes to pool basketball though, I'm the LeBron James. There's nobody better than me than pool basketball. Ask Rob Rich, he got dunked on last time we played together. Um, but yeah, when it comes to pool basketball, I can say I'm probably top 10 in the world. But yeah, big fan of basketball, that's my thing. Lakers in four, by the way. Probably one of the most important parts to the list is Harley. Harley, come here. Come here. Come here. She doesn't listen very well. Come here. Ah. So here we have Harley. She is uh, the most important piece of this list. No, family and friends, then Harley. Well, I guess Harley is family and friends, but Harley is my, uh, hey, act natural. I think you want to be here. She doesn't feel, I don't know, I'll let her go. But Harley's super important to me. Um, one second. Since Harley doesn't want to sit in my lap, I'm gonna bring out some of the coolest artwork I have of Harley. This one I'll start with, uh, a fan sent me this and I love this painting. I will never get rid of this. It sits next to my bed. JD, I don't know who you are, but I appreciate you a lot and I'm very thankful and grateful for this painting. Uh, what's super cool is it's Harley on the beach with the coconut. Harley loves coconuts, but what's cool is they did the Chinese lanterns right here. Me and Ryan put up Chinese lanterns for Mother's Day. So, you know, sentimental, I love this. I appreciate you, JD, this means a lot to me. Another cool painting is this one right here. This came from Nancy Hadley. Uh, Nancy Hadley actually and I uh, worked together. We were on the architecture set together. She was the art design. She was the one also helping build these houses. She's incredible. She did all the paintings around the, uh, the set and they were so cool. And I was like, I have to have one of those on my dog Harley. She's like, no problem. And this came out even better than I expected. She did the drip painting and then she put Harley over it. So, I mean, this hangs up in my room and you know I have so I have two paintings of Harley I'm super blessed super lucky that's my girl I love her the next thing I got for y'all y'all could have grabbed a smaller weight I got a 50 in there I got I got a bow flex thing that goes like 25 to 50 y'all had to grab the 60s but anyways I got a 60 pound weight here from my people at Valor Fitness love y'all one thing I can't live without is uh, working out I think the guys here know when I don't work out because I become a little grumpy and a little moody. So it's like my morning reset, uh, work out in the morning, get my sweat and get it out of me. And then I'm like a different person the whole day. Uh, Valor Fitness though, I reached out to them during uh, the middle of the quarantine. I was like, hey, like, I'm looking to build a weight room to surprise my little brother. He's home from college football. He's a huge workout guy and he needs that escape. And they're like, dude, we would love to help you and help your little brother out. My brother was going through a lot of stuff at that time. So we were both. And so they sent me all this weight room stuff. Credible, uh, the people there, the sweetest people there is. And we built a weight room in the garage. Uh, I'll show you guys a picture right here. But love Valor Fitness, love the gym. This is my mental sanity right now. This is what's getting me through this quarantine and probably gonna piss off my modeling agency because I've been getting a little bit too big. Back to kind of what I said earlier about let discipline carry you and motivation won't. You know, when I'm not feeling good, I work out and that's part of my discipline. And this helps me move with the rest of my day, get things done, makes me feel more accomplished. You knock this out in the morning, you're gonna feel better the rest of the day. This is, you know, the major part of my routine, probably one of the most essential parts to my mental health is working out and sweating. So I, I really think you guys should give it a try if you're not hitting it in the mornings to get it done early and see how it makes you feel the rest of the day because I know it's a game changer for me and I promise you it'll help you with where your head's at. If you're not feeling good, get a sweat, get your mind clear and good things will come from it, I promise you. Another thing I'm really working on 
is a workout video. I want to start sharing more workout videos and stuff with you. We stopped doing the uh, quarantine workouts um, because we just got way too busy because the world's ramping up again. So also comment what kind of workouts you want to see because I want to do stuff that's catered to you guys so you guys can you know, improve and get the results you guys want. So let me know, we'll make it happen because I love working out with y'all. Ah! But when you work out, you must take care of your body. Injuries prevent you from working out and that prevents you from feeling good about yourself. So recovery is just as important as your workout. Another thing I can't live without is my massage gun here. It's called Amici. This is the one I use. These are the people I believe in and trust in. What's so cool about this one, it's got a digital display right here. As you can see, it tells you everything you need to know. What's so great about this, you do chest, you work on your chest. You do your buys, anything you need to. So, huge fan of this gun, Amici. I'm gonna link it down here for you guys to check out. Go get you one, buy it. If you do buy it, put it in your story, let me know. I'll share some love with you. Huge part of fitness is recovery. Um, LeBron James, for instance, spends over a million dollars on his recovery. So, if he's spending that much money, you can spend 100 bucks, 140 bucks, and recover, work on your recovery, because sustainability, health, longevity is all important when it comes to fitness. And also, you're home at night, you and your boyfriend are sitting there, you all can give each other massages, and you don't even have to do much, you just rub this along each other. Now, if you know me, there's one thing I can't live without. It's a good cookie. And Brown Bear baked these cookies, so I don't know what the hell I'm getting myself into. I wish I would've baked them, but uh, I do have some faith in Brown Bear. Let's see how we did here. All right, Bumber. Tell you what, kid. You put the camera down, you start baking. Cause you'll be on to something. I love my cookies. It's kind of like my treat. You know, I try to eat healthy during the week, but every now and then you gotta treat yourself. You gotta get yourself a cookie. Enjoy the better things in life sometimes. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. What are some of the 10 things you can't live without? I'm curious to hear. Comment them below. But uh, I'm gonna get to these cookies. I'm gonna see y'all later. I appreciate y'all hanging here. But I'm out.